Right, tell me what you think. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. If you're new to the channel, my name is Cal. Today I'm going to be bringing two recipes with you with yourselves today. I've decided to inspire myself with something new and I've decided to go and try HelloFresh. With HelloFresh everything comes to your door and it's all freshly. Every item is there so there's no running out to go and buy anything else because everything comes with it. Not only that, it comes with a lovely A4 size leaflet with the picture and the time on it of the dish that you wanted to cook. And at the back of it, it gives you the simple guidelines, instructions to follow. I'll tell you something, I thoroughly enjoyed the two dishes that I made and so did my children. I was really pleased, so that really has inspired me. I shall be trying HelloFresh a little bit more and I'll be sharing them with yourselves as well. So let's get to the recipes. One potato you cooked, half with skin on and half with half, leave that to boil and then cut up one onion. Add in a drop of oil and just fry the onion slightly. And then moving over to one garlic clove, peel it, cut it. My daughter's helping here, she's done more than one. Then we add in, in the meat. I'm using lamb here, but um, you can have whatever meat you want and make it different if you like. So this is lamb and just got to cook it with the onions, garlic and a bit of oil. And here we have it. And once that's cooked, we just add the peas in. And you can tell by the colour the mince is cooking and just add the peas in. Checking on to the uh, potatoes, not quite ready, so I'll leave them to boil. Just adding in one teaspoon of salt. Adding in a sprinkle of black pepper. And with this recipe, the northern Indian spices and herbs to come with it, and that is the key for the recipe. I'm just going to add the whole package in because that's what they recommend. You do get the amount of herbs and spices that they recommend. It's all sealed and you just add to it. It's that simple. And also to help it cook, add a bit of boiling water and it will give you a bit of a sauce and help the meat to cook. So a bit of boiling water, that's all I've done to give it a little bit of sauce and help it to cook. And also making sure it is stirred quite well. Checking on the potatoes, they are ready. I've just added in a bit of butter and milk. Um, I'm using a wooden spoon because I couldn't find my potato masher. Now at this point you can add in black pepper and salt. If you wanted to add other ingredients you can. But I'm following this recipe and I also forgot to mention at the beginning what I'm making. Because it's lamb this would be a shepherd's pie. And I believe if it's beef it would be a cottage pie. So that's what I'm making for the girls. The mash is all ready and I'm just going to let that sit and cool. This is the tomato paste which is going to be added on to the rest of the mix so I'm just pouring that in again it's just a little sachet of 30 grams that's all they recommend for this recipe going back to the potatoes just adding a little bit of salt and black pepper <laughs> The 
pie is ready, everything is ready, I'm just going to get it into the dish and put it into the oven and just coat the mash. So this is the shepherd's pie with broccoli. This again is a HelloFresh recipe and this one is lamb and mushroom ragu pasta and it takes 20 minutes to make. First I'm starting off with a carrot, grate, peel it and grate it. Just pouring in boiled water into the pan and then I'm going to add the pasta in. This is the pasta and this is what I'm using, 180 grams of the pasta into the pan to boil. At this point now I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt to the water. And also when you're making the pasta, it doesn't have to be boiled water to get the pasta ready. You can just use cold water. Now I'm just cook cooking the meat on dry. That's how it says on the recipe. So you're just cooking it really in its fat. And what I like about HelloFresh as I've used it, um, I find that the recipes are different and it's a different way of cooking and not only that you're learning something new. So this is just the lamb meat and it's being cooked in its fat. When that's cooked you just add a teaspoon of oil. And the point here is just to keep on mixing so the meat is cooked in its fat. Now for one teaspoon of oil and I'm just going to pour it in without measuring it from this big bottle of oil which I did later on fill it up in a small one also then giving it a good stir Hundred and twenty grams of mushrooms, just going to add that to the pan and then give it a good stir. Then for that one carrot that I've peeled and grated, that goes on into the pan next after the mushrooms and just giving it a good stir. And then a teaspoon of oil, but bit here you can see I've added a bit too much, so I had to go back and spoon the excess oil out. Now I'm adding in the sauce, it's the tomato puree, or finely chopped tomatoes I should say, with onion and garlic. It's 390 grams, just add it to the pan and give it a good stir. I have a sachet of Italian herbs. Just going to add that in i believe it was about one and a half teaspoons and then also a stock for the pasta but this is actually red wine so i'm going to add them in and then of course also adding in a bit of black pepper and salt it says on the ingredients to add on the list <laughs> So I'm just going to give it a good stir and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. I'm only adding a little bit because the ingredients already have salt in them beforehand anyway. So we do have salt already in our ingredients, so I'll just keep it a bit low. And then for the sauce, just add a little bit of boiled water to help it cook and get, make it a little bit of thinner sauce. So not long and this will be ready within the next couple of minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have drained the pasta and I'm adding it to the uh, frying pan and then I'm going to give it a good mix. And I am mixing this away and I can, all oh, the aromas is absolutely, oh my gosh. Oh, the aroma is absolutely defined. So I'm going to give it a little sample. I'm going to try it. Now there is cheese. You can add cheese, grate it and add cheese on top. But in this case, I am not going to because it is for the girls to sample it. To, well, they're eating it, I'm not. And um, yeah, you can add cheese if you want. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Ruby's indecisive. Does she like it or not? Is it thumbs up or not? <laughs> thank you. It is nice. That's well, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and if you haven't subscribed, I would love you to consider subscribing. And we shall see you in our next video very soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.